it seems to me that the core belief of esotericism is the idea that the individual is connected to the cosmos. Thinking about what sound is is actually really crazy. <laughs> It was sound or the word that served as the first ignition point of creation. Anything that had a chemical substance also has the numerical sequence, and that numerical sequence is also a song. Everything is energy, so we literally are music. Well, it's always interesting to note music's effect on the body. Music therapy, as we know it in America, really arose through a connection with theosophy and new thought and World War I and World War II, where the Red Cross started sending musical performers to soldiers in the field and developed therapeutic music practices. And the steadiness of the beat creates something soothing in your body. When you get into that headspace, that's where you're in touch with parts of your brain that aren't really accessible. I think that's my favorite part about playing live is the ability to close my eyes and tap in straight into source and see all the colors and all of the shapes and the magic. When we hear the crashing of a wave or the sounding of thunder or the crackling of lightning or the sound of a running brook. We're hearing something that's an intrinsic reflection of life replicating itself. I have to believe there's enlightenment in every sound. The frequency of a sound is a number, and a number is also a shape. So if I have three, it's not just the number three, it also has a sound, and it's also a triangle, and it also has a color. The world itself abounds with sound. 